it's Michele here, how are you? Today another video on the Renault Megane and uh, with DDT4 all software. Today we are going to deactivate permanently the stop and start system on the Renault Megane with the DDT4 all software, as usual with the OBD2 interface uh, via Wi-Fi and uh, I'm going to deactiv deactivate it because this system is pretty useless because uh, it's uh, harmful for your car because it can damage the turbo, the alternator and the batteries so uh, it's pretty useless I hear it and um, then I'm going to de disable it to, to save my, my engine and my car so uh, go with the video guys Okay, once again, I'm using the OBD2 uh, Wi-Fi interface because uh, I found out it's the better choice for the DDT4 all software, is the, the best one with no lags, no, no drops, nothing else. And uh, I suggest you to buy this. I leave the link of, the, of, the, of this uh, OBD2 interface uh, on, the, on the description. You can buy it on Amazon for about like, 10 or 12 euro I don't remember but uh, really cheap and then I leave you also the uh, the link for the DDT4 all software the complete version of the DDT4 all software so you don't need to download anything else just the software and uh, connect to the car for the one who don't remember the uh, OBD2 interface plugs here where the uh, OBD2 connector is and it's located under the dash beside the, the pedals you have the this yellow connector in which you have to uh, connect the UBD2 interface and that's it. And here we are in, uh, in Windows 10. As I said in the other video, I repeat, uh, uh, the DT4 all software is only uh, for Windows. So uh, if you, like me, have, the, have a MacBook Pro or a Macintosh system, you, can, uh, you have to uh, download a virtual machine. I using, I'm using VirtualBox, which is free and uh, you have to download uh, and install uh, a virtual machine and then you can download and install Win DDT4 all software on Windows 10. So here we are, we open as usual DDT4 all. Then we select the uh, Wi-Fi or USB interface and depends on what have you, what interface have you got. And uh, I can harm my car in blah, 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 connect. Now the OBD interface is connecting to the car and then select the car which is as usual I repeat uh, my car is the Renault Megane but if you have the Colios, the Kajar, the uh, Twizy, the Zoe, whatever, whatever, Talisman, Latitude, Velocities, I don't know I don't, it's not important which car you have but the procedure is quite the same to every to every car so I select Megane 4. Okay then we have to select the the last one which is um, upc uh, slash emm then we have to open the cluster which is called usm cmf1 sailing before double click on it then once again a subcluster called called the same double click and then we have to open the uh, battery gauge subcluster double click we'll open a sub menu and then we have to select battery gauge and then we have to select uh, battery gauge configuration, double click on it. Uh, this ECU is quite uh, tough to load, so it will take a few seconds. And then we have to go, we have to select this part, which is EB stop start inhibition. Now uh, it's inhibition, so if it's zero, it means that it's not inhibited it works with uh, binary system so if it's zero is not inhibited if it's one it's inhibited so we have to simply change this <coughs> value from zero to one okay one and then as always uh, click on Einstein face to um, ability the, the writing on the ECU and then, guys, remember, never use the scroll of the mouse to move around because you you may uh, set some values which you don't want to set. So always use this to to move. So we have to uh, confirm the, the the modify by clicking send. And now uh, sometimes it happens that it will uh, show no data as 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 now. But uh, believe me, the procedure is completed because if you uh, just uh, close the software, close the software, 
and you open it once again you'll, you will see that uh, the uh, modify has been done I don't know why it uh, do it performs like this but uh, no problem so we we have to check we see Megan 4 which is my car I remember you you see EMM double click click saving before saving before battery gauge battery gauge configuration <coughs> as you can see now it's one so it goes okay now as you can see with the uh, start uh, stop and start button uh, active so the start and stop should be uh, activated but uh, as you can see in the dash the start and the stop is permanently disactivated now uh, if you if you want i can try to start and stop once again and as you can see the start and the stop the stop and start will remain disabled so we made it and uh, for verification you can see that the stop and start uh, is not deactivated by here but it's deactivated by ddt for all and uh, uh, via the uh, obd interface okay guys uh, i hope that this video was helpful thank you for your support uh, please watch the other video i made i gives you i give you the link in the description or up here or at the end of the video and please subscribe or leave a comment uh, just to let me know that uh, you you are happy with my videos and i appreciate that you comment or subscribe or, or watch videos so, okay thank you guys and uh, bye see you next time